Howdy folks, Spencer here, and today I want to follow up on the Maximizing Crit Chance video that I put out last week, and I want to explain how you acquire those Romulan Bridge Officers that have the Superior Romulan Operative trait on them. Uh, just a quick refresh, the Superior Romulan Operative trait is often referred to as SRO, and the reason it is popular is because each one of these that you have slotted on a ship is giving you 2% crit chance and 5% severity. So you can stack these up and get quite a bit of crit chance and severity from them, depending on your build and how many of them you can slot. So I'm going to explain in this video how to acquire them for both the Romulan faction and for the non-Romulan factions in the game. So let's start with the Romulans. As a Romulan player, you will have several different routes to easily acquire these. You'll get some while leveling, you'll find some via duty officer assignments on New Romulus Command or other Romulan maps, and they're quite easy to find on the exchange. Just open the exchange up, go to the bridge officers tab at the left, and type in Romulan into the search bar. Sometimes you'll find that there's some quite cheap, but you have to hover over them on the exchange in order to see what traits they have. And as you can see here, that can be a bit tedious. So just go a few pages in until you're in the 100 to 200,000 DC range and just start looking there and you'll find some quite cheap. 140,000 DC for a bridge officer is really not that bad. So 140,000 DC is basically nothing to most players, and if you're a Romulan player, you can get an entire set of SRO bridge officers for under a million EC if you go through and look at the exchange. For non-Romulan players, however, it's not that easy, of course. So I'm going to swap over to a character on the Fed side, as I know most of you are playing on the Fed side, so... If the map loads, uh, let me go to a pure fed character here. There's two ways that you can get to the fleet embassy. The, the first way is to go to the fleet starbase and just transwarp over there or fly over there. And when you go into the starbase, it's going to give you an option to take a shuttlecraft over to the embassy. I think that's the route most people are going to take. The other option is to just fly directly to New Romulus, and when you're in New Romulus orbit, it is going to give you an option just to beam right down to the Embassy. So I'm going to go to the Fleet Starbase and hope that the map loads in a reasonable amount of time. If any of you have went to the Fleet maps before, though, you know that's, uh, that's not going to happen. Let's uh, just act like that 90 seconds never happened. So once you're at the starbase here and you're on the starbase map, hit, hit the button in the transporter room to talk to the transporter operator, transwarp to other fleet holdings, and then take a shuttle to the fleet embassy. So hit that and you'll have another loading screen. Thankfully, the fleet embassy map tends to load a bit faster. So if you came in through the shuttle bay, what you're going to want to do is go to the east side of the map. So just go straight up this ramp and go to this ramp. And then you're going to go to the operations level or ops. Now, if you flew over to New Romulus, which with those load times would probably be faster, it'll put you right in this transporter room here. And when it does that, you just go across and go to this turbo lift at the top part of the map. So if you start to walk around the map and get lost, for reference, it's at the top part of the map. So let's head to the ops level. When you exit the turbo lift on the ops level, you're going to want to head to your right. And it is the first console that is lit up on the right. Now this is for anyone that's on the Federation side or any Federation aligned race. It is, for reference, if you look at the minimap, it is at the bottom left of the outer ring in the middle of the map. So, go to this console. It'll say Requisition Bridge Officers. 
and there's only one bridge officer on this entire list that has the SRO trait, and it is the rare male tactical. It is the only one. I wish that there were engineering and science ones, but there is not. So this is why in the crit chance video I talked about there being a slight crit disadvantage for non-Romulan races, and that is because the only SROs that they can slot are in tack seats. So, whereas a Romulan player could have five SROs slotted here, with this specific build that I have on the ship, I can only slot one. So I am losing out on 8% crit chance and 20% severity. So, with some builds, there can be a fair bit of a crit chance hit and crit severity hit uh, if you're not a Romulan. But it's not that big of a deal with all the other sources of crit chance we have nowadays. So these will cost you 80,000 fleet credits and 20,000 lithium. If your fleet has tier three on the lithium mine, that will be discounted to 17,000 lithium. Now, if this entire list is grayed out and it says at the top for you, zero items remaining, you need to get provisions for the recruitment side of the embassy. So the provision recruitment supplies mission is what you'll want to run. Uh, once that's complete, you'll have more provisions and each of these that you acquire will consume one provision from your fleet. So if you're unable to purchase these and you have store access, that's why. Now, when you actually buy one of these, you cannot buy multiple at one time there there is a way to acquire multiple of them you just need to follow the steps i'm mentioning here when you purchase one of these it's going to pop up a window that is like this where it says join you need to have the bridge officer join your roster and once it is joined just like this one did you will be able to go back into the store and buy another it you can buy as many as you want, but you shouldn't need more than two to three of these on a ship. Most builds are not going to use more than two or three tactical bridge officer seats. So, just to you know, clarify that one more time, when you buy one of these, it'll pop up a window that says join, and you have to hit join before you can buy the next one. But if you hit join, it'll go onto your roster and you can just buy the next and repeat for however many you want. Now, if you're on the Klingon side, the room is going to be a slightly different color, but it's the exact same layout. The Klingon console is not on the top ring here. It's actually down in the middle. So it'll be right here where this NPC is at. So... Whereas the Fed console was at the bottom left of the upper ring, the KDF uh, store for these bridge officers will be at a console at the bottom left of the inner ring, so at the lower part of this level. So when you leave the turbo lift up here on the KDF side, you just come down and go to the right, and it will be right here. And it's the same process for the Klingon side. If you want to buy multiple, you buy one, you have it join your roster and then you can buy another. So hopefully this video has been a pretty good at explaining how to acquire these bridge officers for you. That is going to wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. Once again, I want to say thank you to all channel members, Patreon members, and Twitch subs. We've had quite a bit of growth in the past couple weeks and it is very much appreciated. That's it for today. See you all next time.